Hello everybody, Adam at Blash Building here with another tutorial series. And in this lesson, which is going to be very in-depth and I'm going to go really slow, that way beginners can hang with us, is we're going to do uh, raw data management systems from scratch, which are the equivalent to content management systems, which a lot of us already know what they are. There are systems that you can create or you can download template systems and use to give to clients or use for yourself to have a dynamic PHP MySQL website. That's what Joomla and WordPress both are, are dynamic PHP and MySQL websites. And what they do is they store data. All the data for the site essentially is stored in a MySQL database and PHP interacts with that MySQL database to render all the pages and the menus themselves. The uh, a lot, of, a lot of those templates have CSS menus or JavaScript based menus uh, that populate on the left and right sides in columns and those menus are all dynamic they're not uh, statically coded into a template somewhere they're coming out of the database as well according to what data is in it so that's what we're going to show you how to do and we'll uh, take you all the way through starting the system from scratch building the MySQL database and going all the way to basically the point to where you can hand it over to a client. I might not show everything. I might change my mind on what to show throughout the series, uh, but you'll just have to, you know, check out what the finished product is and see if you'd like to learn something like that. And there's not going to be as many steps to this series as there was at Web Intersect, which is like 30 videos. This will be much shorter, and I'm going to be working in PHP my admin a lot basically for building the whole series uh, or building the whole system in the web intersect series I showed you guys how to write scripts that make your tables in the database that modify your tables in the database but in this one we're gonna work work straight in PHP my admin which a lot of beginners enjoy working with and it shows you a lot of what's going on behind the scenes with the programming so they can get their their objectives completed and learn at the same time using PHP my admin and I'll show you how that works okay let's touch on a few things before we get started so we really have a good understanding of what we're going to build here and what it can do for us as web developers and website owners um, first thing is your earning potential is much higher or has the potential to be much higher if you're keen um, the clients are much happier with the unique powerful site so let me show you an example. This is an all flash website. And I just wanted to show this as an example because the guys who who can hack uh Joomla and WordPress real well, the designs and put in any kind of templates to look like whatever they want, they cannot do this. They cannot do this unless they have custom coding knowledge. Uh my client he puts in his own journal entries, his gallery is dynamically rendered, all his images, he's an artist, and all of his images are dynamically rendered. Um, so, and the gallery is dynamic, flash gallery, and it's packed into a full flash website. You can't, guys, guys who modify Joomla and, and WordPress templates cannot do this, I don't care what they say, they're just, they're not good enough. If you have custom coding knowledge and you built it from scratch, then you are good enough and you do know how to do stuff like that. And uh, there's also uh, this guest book I have in Flash at Flash Building, and I'm not saying this system is only good for putting data into Flash. I'm just sh trying to show the diversity of it you're not locked in is what I'm just trying to say you know I'm not trying to knock any systems God knows Joomla and WordPress are magnificent and powerful and a lot of people have made a lot of money using them and benefited a lot but what I'm saying is there's no design boundaries there's no data feed boundaries there's no boundaries whatsoever that's all I'm saying and that site that I just showed you should be proof enough that whole site being dynamically rendered is amazing and MySQL driven, that's crazy. It's all Flash. And that's scottclarkvision.com if you want to check that site out. scottclarkvision.com And this one is my site, Flash Building, and a lot of people 
asked me how I built my guest book. They, a lot of people want to know how I built this guest book here that's all dynamic and it updates without refreshing the page. Right when you type it in, it goes up and it updates right away. And you'll see it right away. And a lot of people want to know how to make that. I got all kind of comments in there. And if you like, go and leave me a nice comment. Especially if you enjoy uh, the work we do, leave me a nice comment there so so I can have a nice good stack of comments. Anyhow, let me shut up. Let's go back to what we we're talking about. But that just shows you another example of the creative freedom that you can have when dealing with your your own custom built system. But it can all be HTML and CSS. You get Flash right out of your head. You don't this actually this whole system you don't need any Adobe tools whatsoever. It can be done in Notepad because I'm going to be showing you the code basically. I'll be in Dreamweaver CS4 and you can just follow along if you have Dreamweaver CS4 but if you happen to not have any Adobe software you'll be just fine you can use WordPad or Notepad no problem because I'm gonna show all the code and I'm gonna give the code away at the end okay so let's move on to adding flash elements we talked about easily break away from the WordPress and Joomla design we talked about now the design tweaks and updates take minutes on hundreds of pages so say you site gets up to indexing to where it has 200 pages where at develop PHP we have way over 200 pages um, what you do is you use templates and I'm going to show you how to use templates effectively to make the design updating and changes in certain things a whole lot easier so on hundreds of pages instead of taking days to update things it just takes minutes to update a couple of template files and then you're done now uh, number five is suited for people this system is suited for people that enjoy creating their websites from scratch if you enjoy just going some getting some free software this is not for you this is is going to be a bare bones kit you understand me so you have to want to get your hands dirty you got to want to learn you got to want to grow and make it a powerful system I'm gonna give you the bare bones okay and um, so this is really suited for people that enjoy creating the websites from scratch like me I enjoy creating full flash websites for clients and uh, making them dynamic is nobody can do this yet that's why I'm such a valuable little dude is because I have the power to give any kind of website and it all be MySQL driven not many developers can do this yet after this tutorial series I'm blowing the lid right off of it all kind of developers are going to know how to do this and it's going to be a lot nicer for everybody alrighty number six is the system is ideal for e-commerce or deep data indexing systems on or off the web I uh, I had a buddy of mine who was creating a plant indexing system where he was they were indexing him and his company were indexing all of the plant life on earth I believe all the Latin names all the little bits of information about each plant on earth I think they were assembling that system and he was using uh, Joomla I think it was and he he just wanted a little more creative freedom so it's it's ideal for that type of situation where you need deep data indexing uh, whether it be on the web or off the web if it's off the web you have to set up a uh, a local environment to run PHP and MySQL and Apache but I recommend just doing it right on the web because on hosting systems you know it all set up MySQL and PHP is all set up ready to go and Apache and Linux all that so uh, it's ideal for deep data indexing systems or just regular websites because let's face it folks you gotta have a lot of pages nowadays to even get seen and get up there in the search engines not many five page websites really jump out and and rise to the top not many at all you gotta have a dynamic system going okay so e-commerce is also this type of system makes e-commerce a breeze because once you learn button programming for whatever gateway payment gateway you work with then it's a breeze uh, making all the pages and the uh, putting the cart buttons in the add to <clears throat> the buy now buttons in whatever kind of buttons you need uh, and all the pages can be rendered out and all the items can be cataloged rather in a table so you make a special table call it items catalog and each item goes in it gets its product ID 
blah 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 and then you just work on rendering all that data out make pagination you know pagination is very important for systems like this okay so here we're going into what will we need what we will need is like I said before no Adobe tools required but maybe preferred I'm going to work with uh, Dreamweaver CS4 throughout the series <clears throat> just because I like the the HTML syntax highlighting code help and all that good junk and uh, if you have just notepad or wordpad you'll be just fine too because it's all the code will be available and we're not going to really do too much in design mode in Dreamweaver anyway it's all going to be in the code view <clears throat> okay so number two here is what and what we'll need uh, really number one is basic HTML, CSS, PHP, and MySQL knowledge. I'm sorry I skipped over that, but that's very important. Um, we'll need at least basic level all four of those technologies. HTML, CSS, PHP, and MySQL. If you don't have any PHP and MySQL knowledge, you can still hang with this, trust me. But having some HTML and CSS knowledge is kind of essential. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And uh, an HTML text editor which like was I saying before which is Dreamweaver for me in my case and in your case could be WordPad or Notepad or Dreamweaver or whatever you have if you work on a Mac if they have different text editors whatever okay so number two is an online server that processes PHP and is MySQL ready equipped with PHP my admin we're gonna be working with PHP my admin almost exclusively when we're gonna uh, be interacting with our database except for when it comes time to render the data out but feeding the data in we're going to be using and building the tables and assembling the structure of the database we're going to use PHP my admin which comes on any host server really any professional host that offers MySQL databases that is MySQL ready will have PHP my admin already installed for you ready to go all you have to do is create your MySQL database and then PHP my admin is there in your hosting control panel and you can go right to it then you just save that page favorite it and get to it easily that way uh, so, and I recommend an online server rather than trying to set up lamp wamp or zamp forget all that okay if you do and you've never set that up before if you have it running already use it but if you never set that up before don't even try it go online get find yourself ten dollars in the couch go buy a dot com and put free hosting on it so all you spend is ten dollars you got a year to play around ten dollars you can afford that and then uh, you have a year to play around with a PHP enabled server that is MySQL ready equipped with PHP my admin okay I know GoDaddy does it. You can just buy the .com and then put the free hosting on it, which GoDaddy will offer you. You put the free hosting on it, and it's PHP and MySQL ready. <clears throat> okay, number three, you'll need good FTP software that has folder creation and file file permissions control, which is Chimad or file permissions, same thing. Uh, and I recommend FileZilla because I like the way FileZilla handles FTP and you can use whatever you want though but as long as you can get to manipulate file permissions and things like that it might not even be necessary maybe you can just use Dreamweaver or whatever you see how far you get if you get stuck use FTP uh, like FileZilla okay number four is you'll need a free what you see is what you get editor a WYSIWYG editor and preferably JavaScript based and not not any flash ones just yet you'll you'll want a, a free JavaScript based WYSIWYG text editor and that is what you use to for yourself or for your client to easily assemble the page or edit the page and that's how it works that's how uh, Joomla and WordPress work they just use a nice WYSIWYG editor and they render out the MySQL data if it's a page you're editing that already exists the data comes out into the WYSIWYG and then you edit it move things around uh, if it's uh, a page you're just creating for the first time you're gonna see the WYSIWYG with a blank canvas and then you just go to town creating your page press enter boom page is done 
Okay, so you'll need a free WYSIWYG JavaScript based text editor. And those are as plenty of them all over the web free. Don't buy one. I'll slap you. Okay, so uh number five is listen very closely to the instructions on the video series that I'm gonna be creating to avoid having to ask many questions later. I mean if you pay attention, the better, better you pay attention, the less you'll have to ask. Because I'm going to cover basically everything. I'm not going to leave anything out. And if you have trouble doing certain things that it, it seems like I am just doing easily, then you really have to buckle down and experiment and say, why is it so easy for him to just do it? And then I'm having trouble. Oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. Just, just pay attention the best you can to avoid many many questions that you'd have to ask people later uh, number six is I will supply free scripts upon tutorial completion study them and experiment before you ask any questions take the code package listen to the videos watch the videos really closely pay attention real well before you ask any questions in our forums or any other forums about this uh, this system so study the scripts if it's pertaining to what you're talking about, go to that part of the scripts, study it, change it around, experiment, do things that it just seems logical to you for the functionality you want to change it up or whatever. Okay, so what if I get stuck? You can try the forums that develop PHP, and uh, although no help guarantees in a free forum online anywhere. I can tell you right now, if you go in there and you ask a question that's a little bit too complex, and you got to keep in mind, there's a lot of people just learning. There's not many super pros there. Uh, most super pros are out making money and don't have time to uh, hang out in the forums like I do. Uh, I don't like money anyway. <laughs> but you can try the forums at developphp.com. I might not answer. I'm a very busy guy, but you can try another mem. All the kind of our members are all different levels of uh, knowledge, and you can get a lot of help from a lot of smart people there, or you can get somebody, you know, maybe nobody that day or the, the, those two days that understand how to do what you're asking is hanging around, you know. So it might just not get noticed. That's just the way it goes. Or number two, you can hire me. If you get really desperate and you get to the point where you want to kill yourself, you can hire me at $666 per hour to help you produce your system. I won't ask any questions. You command me. I'll be your little programming robot. Okay. Now, try not to ask people to help build your shite for you for free. You can't come to our forums or some any other forums. You can't go and just be like, hey. I got this great idea. Help me build it free and we'll take over the world. Nobody ever jumps on those opportunities. You gotta pay money, you know? So just pay attention to the series best you can and build it all yourself. Don't have to go to anyone. Just try to muscle through it the best you can. If you get stuck, I'm here for six hundred and sixty six dollars per hour. Or you can try and get somebody else, but I can tell you not many guys know how to do this stuff from scratch. So this was the introductory series uh video to this series on creating magic MySQL websites and foundation systems, uh, foundations for the system like WordPress and Joomla. WordPress and Joomla are much more powerful than what we're going to be creating, but this will give you insight into how to get started with your own systems like that to offer your clients and have total control over design and programming. It's going to be a wild ride, so strap on your headgear, sit back and relax.